Okay, good morning and welcome to Game Changers with Fabian Lyon waiting for our hey, there is Arthur. <laughs> Hello Fabian, how are you? Good my man, how are you doing man? Good, good. Sorry for that little like uh, technical issue. Hey, no wor <laughs> no worries man. We are here man. That's all that counts. Cool. Yes sir. Well, uh, for those who might not know, I just want to intro our guest, Arthur Bourbon. He is a uh, pro surfer. He's also an award-winning filmmaker. And uh, he completed a film uh, with uh, Damien Castera a couple years ago and that really covered uh, the former child soldiers in Liberia, what they have gone through, and how they are coping. And one of those uh, mechanisms that they're using to cope is by surfing, a very captivating film. I saw snippets of it. So first of all, congratulations, Arthur, for that endeavor. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so uh, now that you're a couple years removed, Arthur, from filming it, and uh, it has gone worldwide and, and really received so many uh, awards, and, um, and, and how, how does it feel now, a couple years later, as opposed to when you're in the middle of it, and uh, making this film? Well, it feels good because like, um, uh, it's been a, um, a project that, uh, that has been, you know, like it's, it's, it's still going, you know what I mean? Like um, there's now uh, so many stuff happening there and I, I'm keep, uh, I'm still involved, you know, with the community. So um, it's, uh, it's really, it was a dream you know, as a filmmaker to make a, a project like that where I can like, you know, um, participate to make a, a little change you know to uh, to that for that community and uh, and I'm uh, yeah trying to to still you know like uh, working with them to uh, help the community you know uh, making the sport you know evolving in the country and as well you know like uh, working on all the benefits around you know like surfing and the ocean and what what surfing can bring to the community so um, yeah feeling really really proud because as i said like it's, it's a dream for a documentary filmmaker when like uh, the the movie you're making is uh is helping you know uh the subject you know and uh, and that that was the case and um yeah so super super stoked and uh, and uh, i was able to to go back there last year in 2000, 2023 and um, yeah, it was amazing to see, uh, you know, the, the, the change. But we, we'll go through later. But uh, yeah, we're feeling good about that for sure. And wow, that's proud. awesome. Uh, so, Arthur, I want to ask you, at what point did you and Damien uh, decide, man, we need to go over there and, and capture what's going on? And I heard you had the handheld cameras. At what point did you decide, let's go do this, man? Let's go cover what's going on and, and help in any way? Well, we were looking to to do like a a project you know like a, a, a film filmmaking project um with damien and uh at first we didn't know really where to go and um and we were willing to discover a new place like a place which is not really known for surfing mm -hmm. and discover some some nice wave and as well like a uh connect with the with the local with a i don't know like a, a new like local surf community and um, we were freaking about, about Africa because um, for, for surfing, which are like still like really not now at all. And um, and uh, and looking at making some research, looking at the map and uh, and a couple of articles on the internet, Damien find a found a picture of a perfect left hand point break, uh, perfect wave like world class waves, and uh, we were like, okay. where it was you know I could... mm -hmm. right
uh, with articles online, even about uh, about like the, the first generation of from the war, you know, like um, and uh, some of them was involved in the war, and we were like, whoa, this is this is crazy, and uh, it seems like those guys uh, went through some the most crazy, like terrific stuff, you know. Uh, you could you could go for you could go through you know in uh, in your childhood you know and um, so we decided to go there and uh, meet that first generation of surfer surf with them um, document the the wave because um, uh, we wanted to show that you know Liberia is not only about you know war and great things but also about peace and uh, it's still like uh, one of the poorest countries in the world but like everybody is uh, is optimistic and uh, and and really you know uh, mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Well, that's that's really awesome. And if you're just joining us here on, um, yeah, I have a little problem hearing you. Is a, a little bit. It's glitching in and out the audio a little bit, uh, uh, Arthur. So just letting you know. But uh, if you're just joining us here, we're with uh, Arthur Bourbon, and he is a pro surfer. He's also an award-winning filmmaker. He and Damien Castero. Um, they. All right. No, no, it's all, it's all good, man. Hopefully it gets a little better. He and Damien Castera um, produced a film of Water Get No Enemy. And once again, it chronicles uh, the former uh, child soldiers in Liberia, what they've gone through and how they've turned to uh, surfing as a means for therapy. And just a, a great, great story there. And the uh, author just mentioned, obviously, that he returned last year. And uh, there are a number of great things that have happened since. Uh, they have formed a surf club, and uh, they have some scholarships on hand, which they did not have before for, uh, for school children there. Arthur, if you could speak on uh, developing a relationship with these surfers in Liberia. Obviously, you're strangers to them. You're coming there for the first time in 2018. How was that interaction initially? And... It seems like you're you're all you're you're well traveled, man. So you're all over the place, uh, surfing and making connections with people of all different cultures and communities. Uh, talk about that, making that connection uh, with these uh, uh, children and young adults in Liberia. Like, you know, like those surfers, you know, in Liberia, they are like uh, the most fascinated surfer I ever met. You know, and. Um, as you were saying, you know, like they they really like um, find you know like you know fun and 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 peace, you know, and a lot of like uh, benefits, you know, from being in the water, enjoying, you know, with with their friend, you know, the perfect wave they got there. So um, yeah, surfing means a lot for them, and um, they don't have, at least you know, like five years ago, they, they didn't have much access to you know surf video. Uh, they didn't have like, like most of them they didn't they didn't have a smartphone at the time. Right. Uh, it changed. A little bit now that like most of them I can connect with them on WhatsApp and stuff, so it's cool. But like back then, like um, yeah, so um, and and they don't see much, you know. There's not a lot of tourists, you know. There, there's a couple expats, you know, living in Morovia, the capital city of Liberia. They would go in for the weekend, they surf a little bit, mm -hmm. and you know, they they really. Right. Uh, 
territorialists, you know, you know, overcrowded, uh, you know, all other years, you know. So there, there's like no one, in, no one out. You know? mm -hmm. like, there's no one in the water surfing, and uh, especially back then because they had like I don't know, not even like ten surfboards, and there were there were like twenty, thirty surfers. They were sharing right. the boards, so. There were maximum like 10 surfers in the water, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and they had like five amazing surf spots. So right. they were, they, they actually, you know, like most of the time, I remember that there was no one in the water when we arrived the first day. Uh -huh. We walked on the beach uh -huh. and I remember seeing a group of kids, you know, with surfboards like running at us, you know, and yeah. then we just stopped come surfing because we were going to surf, you know. Right, which, right. Which is because normally people will wait, you know, for people to get out of the water to join, yeah. you know go you know and uh, and they were just happy to join and it was a big party in the water and uh, and they were super them to to improve on their techniques you know on their surf you know surf yeah. skills so they, they yeah they were like really really start and 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 the fact that we also like we interviewed them we um we really like listened to the to their stories and we 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 made a movie out of it, you know, we put it and, and yeah, like give them the chance to, to talk about what happened in Liberia and to show that, that, that they have an amazing country and it was amazing wave to just to, for them to be part, you know, of a, of a movie, you know, and uh, right. seeing them, you know, on the screen surfing and stuff. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, basically they, they, they were super stoked about that. Mm. Um, it, it took a while, like we... I was still connected with some of them, but as I say, like most of them, they didn't have access to internet, no, no. Mm. And and now like most of them have, so uh, I can really like, uh, you know, I, you know, we, we chat on, on right. WhatsApp and, and Instagram and stuff. So we really mm -hmm. connected the videos. I send them photos and video from the surf here in France, and um, yeah, it's a really special connection. And the fact that like got back them you know go back there sorry um really like um you know it was the the first travel was the foundation it was the the cement you know like the really like uh that was really like a um a true true friendships now with, you know with with the with, with the all the surfers so right really feel, feels good yeah yeah really, really amazing. right yeah hey you know arthur i'm just thinking here uh obviously Surfing is such a technical sport and requires, you know, a great training. Were you amazed by some of these surfers that without, you know, uh, these training and classes, were, were a couple of those surfers really stand out for you? Like, man, you, you didn't even have any great training or classes uh, and you're really doing some great, great things out there on the waves, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, it was really impressive because, um, you know, uh, I grew up as a spoiled, spoiled kid, you know, I had like, my own surfboard when I was like, I don't know, seven years old, six years old. And, uh, and, uh, and those boys and girls, you know, they, they don't, yeah, they, they share like, a, they, they had like a really, you know, the, the, the surfboard they were using, you know, back then, they were like really in bad, you know, condition, you know, like a yeah. broken. Sometimes like you're supposed to use like three fins, you know, under the board and they, were, they had only like one fin or two. Mm. Like a really tough material, you know, to... Such a great like waves setup, you know, in Phil. Um spending so much time in the water and they, they got you know they got the match to got this those skills, you know, by themselves and that's that's amazing and uh and the, that's also something really cool because like they didn't they are not you know formatted you know about like how you're supposed to surf you know right and um and you know like we all like I'm you know I'm on Instagram Facebook whatever YouTube uh -huh. looking at all the, the, the all the pro surfers, whatever, and, and you can see, you know, which style you're supposed to have, which surfboard you're supposed to have, which which gear you're supposed to wear to look cool, whatever, you know. Right. And, and then it's just like pure, you know, like instinct, you know, like pure, like uh, just yeah, yeah, just they, they've got they created their own style of surfing and they they just rip, you know, and uh, and with their own, you know, uh, yeah, really instinctive style and and it feels feels good to see that. It's really been in surfing for so long and uh and uh it, it feels good to see like uh the, the emergence of, of a new you know um 
surfing community like that, you know, see like that they, they they really share those values we were supposed to share as surfers, you know, and somehow got a little bit lost because we we are like it became such a mainstream mainstream sport, you know. Right. And, uh, and there it is, it's it's the core of surfing. You know, it's just like being in the water, whatever you know, you you have to ride. And some of the kids, you know, when I, when I don't have a, a board, they just use a plank, you know, plank board, you know, just a piece of wood. Right. And they and they ride away. They, they don't. Most of them they don't stand. They just you know like do like like bodyboarding, you know. Right. And, On their um, stomach. But they but they just like ride, you know, like ride waves, and they you know they just enjoy it, and uh, it's, it's it's really amazing, and um. And that they also like they, they really makes them feel special because like most of the people they don't they don't know how to swim. They most of them are scared of the water. There's a lot of fishermen in that village in in, in Robert's Spot. It's called Robert's Spot, that small village where right. I went. They, they spend a lot of time on the water, but they don't you know they're not really familiar with waves and, and yeah undercurrents yeah yeah. and yeah they, they, they feel good about that you know and they feel right. proud and that so awesome. arthur it seems like uh surfing provides some kind of uh, uh therapeutic uh advantages you know and it seems like um these former child soldiers they have gravitated towards the water and obviously to surfing can you speak to that personally what surfing does to you does when you go surfing does it lift your spirits does it make you happy if you could just uh, just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, um, you know, there's so many aspects, you know, about surfing, you know, um, first, you know, just like doing a physical activity, you know, like just do like, like sports, you know, like, uh, whatever it's running, whatever, you know, like uh, exercising, you know, it always feel, feels good, you know, mm -hmm. but when you do like a, an outdoor sport and, and you're able to connect, you know, with, with the nature, you know, and uh, it's, I think it's really, it's something that feels really good too. And the water. We eight, eighty percent of our body is made of mm -hmm. salt water, you know. And uh, we were born in water, you know. Uh, we were created in our mother's belly, you know, uh, spending nine months in water. And I feel like, yeah, when you, even if you just go swim in the water, you know, you feel like kind of like you feel all all your problems, all your stress you got got washed away, mm -hmm. you know, and uh and uh, oh, you always feel better. Whatever how good or how bad is, is the wave or the surf you just the surf session you just made, you know, you you know, like from, from that session and uh, mm -hmm. always feeling better, you know. Um, to go through, you know, a lot of challenges, you know, um, and, uh, and, you know, as I said, you know, uh, I'm a pretty lucky guy, you know, I grew up in a safe environment, you know, uh, I was able to go to school, you know, get a good education, to travel, I got so many opportunities, but for, for those kids, you know, for those boys and girls in, in, in Iberia, it's, uh, it means a lot, you know, because they... They really go. They they have so many personal, you know, difficulties. You know, um, they have to go through so many challenges every day, and uh, and yeah, it means a lot, you know. And for them, it's also being part of a community. You know, part of a community, so you feel part of a big family. Mm -hmm. And as I said, in a country like Liberia, where like no one are no one spends time in the water for as a hobby, you know. It's right. Like, there's a lot of fishermen right. taking a lot of risk to go out there, go fishing, but they, so, you know, ocean is something to, to be scared of. You know, it's a, it's a, it's not something playful and and uh, and and nice and uh, you know. Yeah. And so does that surf community? You know, they feel special about that too. You know, feel proud because like. other Liberian, you know, they're just like, uh, 
it's 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 pretty crazy you know and um and uh i feel like um yeah it's uh it's 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 really something to help you, you know um deal with all the difficulties you have in your life and, and just mm -hmm. you know, bringing you joy and uh yeah. So, so Arthur, I'm, I'm 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 assuming you heard some really hard stories while you were there, just in in doing the film and talking to these uh, these, these 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 young folks there. Uh, how did maybe some of those stories, once you had a chance to wrap your head around, how did those stories impact your life since the, since meeting uh, since going down there and making that film? Well, I think the 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 thing that impact most you know um the, the thing that really like uh, um make me realize you know like uh how those people you know are positive you know and optimistic despite you know the difficulty that's that's the most you know um that's the biggest learning i got from 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 those surfers you know because you know we we complain all the time you know and but we we don't we don't have much to complain, actually, you know, and, uh, and, and in the fridge, they don't have a fridge, you know, most of them, they don't have, and they just, you know, like, um, the joy and the positivity, they, 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 they keep having, you know, despite all the challenges and all the, the crazy, uh, stuff that they went through in their life, mm -hmm. you know, during the war and stuff. It's um, it's something really, really crazy, you know, and and that makes you realize, you know, how lucky you are, you know, to live uh, in a safe country and uh, to have a, a decent, you know, childhood and have food, you know, to put on the table and in your belly. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's that, that was the, the biggest, you know, uh, learning I got from them for sure, you know, and. Um, because yeah, the, the the stories were like so crazy, you know, and uh, it's uh, it's almost hard, you know, to really you know like um, realize, you know, how how this could be, you know, like uh, because it's uh, it's actually so far from 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 us, you know, from our lives. But um, so yeah, yeah, the biggest thing is just like how good it is to to you know to to just keep being like so positive and and so happy, you know. And uh, have that joy and that that optimism, you know, despite all the challenges and all the the, the traumas you've got, you know, and that that was the, the biggest thing for me. Mm -hmm. So, Arthur, um, two things I wanted to ask you about, and one is humanity and civility, uh, what they mean personally to you, humanity and civility. Well, uh, I guess humanity, you know, is about you know. It's about us, you know, us, and, uh, you know, just loving each other, you know, being kind to each other, you know, and, um, and, uh, when you think about Liberia and, and, and all those crazy wars where like people were killing each other between whatever, like, like different villages or, or from the crazy stuff, you know, going on. And, and it's, you know, it's just like, the total opposite of humanity you know and um we're supposed to help each other love each other care to each other and um yeah that's that's it for me you know like just mm -hmm. yeah 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 for, for sure and and, you know, Arthur, there's so many things going on, especially exactly. now with social media. We we get the news in a split second. There's nothing to wait, no newspaper to wait on, you know. And it just seems like there's so many fires out there to put out, you know, just going on around the world. Um, why was it important for you to not just stay in your safe place, but for you to travel out and to see other people, the hardships that they have gone through? And and to offer whatever help you could. Why is it important for you to keep that spirit? You no know, reporter or stuff like that. You know, I'm not special. You know, specifically, you know, looking for places like that. You know, but just like 
I share what I share with those surfers, you know, is is our love for the ocean and and surfing, you know, and um, and I'm really happy to to share with the surf world, you know, like different stories, you know, um, stories from surfer we are, who have like different different lives mm-hmm. and and different uh, feelings about about you know what surfing means, you know, and um, that really what motivates me, you know, and uh, and yeah, and um, and obviously on a filmmaker point of view, um, it's also, you know, like, uh, those, those stories are so powerful, you know, and, uh, and, uh, it's also, you know, uh, stories that, that needs to be, to be shared, you know, and that stories that are, that are also like really, uh, moving, you know, for the audience, you know? So, um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's more about that. That's, you know, that does, does really inspirational, you know, like, uh, uh, stories you know about about the the world and uh, and and my 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 community you know the international surf community you know mm-hmm. because um i feel like s- s- most of the production you see in surfing you know they they are like really focused on performances and just, you know it's really super like a uh, ego centered you know and uh, mm-hmm. and and stuff like that and uh, and this is not my my yeah my point of view my vision about you know what uh, what a surf movie should be you know what a surf trip should be and uh and i feel like um we it's it's good to to use such a beautiful sport you know to to give a, bi- a bigger message you know to um to spread uh to spread a different yeah something something bigger than than just surfing you know even if i love surfing and if i really <laughs> Yeah, it's been a big part of my life, you know, and that's that's this is why I'm here talking to you, you know. And, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah, I think the story needs to be needs to be told, and they are inspiring. And and, and what I told you that that I felt, you know, um, really inspired by by those those people, you know, that were like so positive and stuff. And I feel like I, I I've been talking, you know, with people, you know, after screenings and stuff, and I. I can see and I can feel that they are inspired and that they they are telling it to me, you know, that uh, that they're they gonna be inspired by that, by those surfers, you know, and that's that's the important thing about filmmaking, I think, like to inspire people and uh, so yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure these surfers are really appreciative to you, Arthur, and to Damien, and how they really express that to you that you've kind of really put them on a map. Uh, in terms of what they've gone through and uh, how has that appreciation looked uh, for you? Uh, can, I don't really get the question. Can you, can you say that again? Sorry. Yes. I, I said I'm sure that uh, these surfers are very appreciative for you and Damien to come down there and make a movie about what they have gone through, uh, their ordeals and, uh, you know, how they've been coping so how is that appreciation, how they showed that appreciation to you, uh, and how does that make you feel knowing that you went down there, took on this task, and completed it? Yeah, like, um, I really, I really, I could see that they really, you know, loved the fact we were, like, and stuff, so... They they really they showed it for sure you know, but um, at the same time as I said you know like, to suffer, despite all the good stuff that surfing brings to them you know, they still have to go through a lot of challenges so they don't you know, you know just they just we, just the fact that we keep in touch you know and uh, and and obviously when I got back there you know just like you know to just like you know see them and hug them you know and and feel like you know like the that vibe you know that. To just being together again, you know, uh, it was great. So um, I was really, yeah, definitely feels good to, to to know that you're important and you have done something good for them, you know. And um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I I don't know, like it's uh, just being connect, being able to be connecting with them and, and uh-huh. feel like they they are happy, you know, to share, you know, like the the latest surf session, you know, the latest swell they've got on the. On their local beach, you know, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's good about that, you know, just to keep that connection and feels that you know that they, they are, you know, they want to share, you know, more moments and uh, more stuff, you know, and mm-hmm. yeah, it feels good. 
Right. So, Arthur, at what at what point in your life? Because you've I've, I've checked out some of your reels and you've really traveled the world extensively. As I said, uh, surfing. At what point did you realize for yourself that you would not be in, in an office for 30, 40 years, chained to an, a desk and a chair, and that you wanted to go out there and explore the world? Did you know that right away that this is not me, man? I I need to be out there touching and 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 meeting new people and jumping on planes and going all over the place surfing. Well, like, um, you know, I, I don't know, it went like uh, pretty, you know, gradually, you know, because I, I was I was surfing first, you know, I was like doing a lot of competitions. So I started like traveling for competition, you know, um, mm -hmm. I was born and raised in the in the Caribbean, in a French island called Guadeloupe. Right. And um, so I was traveling to, you know, Sisters Island around Guadeloupe, you know, Martinique, you know, Dominique, you know, St. Martin. And then moved to France, traveled around Europe. And mm -hmm. mm. through that uh, surfing career. Uh, but I was, you see, like just the the hotel you're staying in you know staying at and and the and the beach of the competition was most of the time pretty shitty stuff you know like uh uh doing like more like free surfing which is more like you go so spot you tell a story you know focus but but i, I got it you know involving into filmmaking uh -huh. and into like you know uh showing more than something as i was saying to you you know like uh, uh bringing also like inspiring stories you know uh through those those documentary filmmaking projects you know so um, yeah i don't know it's um it, it went pretty naturally as i said and uh, and uh, obviously i love to be out there mm -hmm. uh, but to be honest um i'm spending a lot of time behind the computer too you know <laughs> people don't see that because as you said, you know, I don't, I don't post, you know, reels of me, you know, like editing a movie for like months, you know, because it's not, it's not fun to watch, you know. There's nothing cool to watch, you know. But, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, this is the reality of it. Spending also a lot of time trying to get um, a little bit of money to go somewhere. You know? Right. A lot of time editing the project, you know, um, because I. You know, it's a, it's independent. I managed to get a little money. Um, more budgets, you know, for compared to what documentary filmmaking could be. You know, when you see like a, a big project on whatever, like Netflix, right. Amazon, yeah. stuff, they got no like, doubt. I don't know, million, million <laughs> euro, you know, uh, uh, budget for the photo. And I've got, I don't know, 15 ground, you know, 20 ground. <laughs> the, the reward doesn't come from money, you know, it's, it's come doing mm -hmm. something creative, creative and, and tell, you know, nice stories and inspiring stories. So, um, and, uh, and yeah, so um, to to be able to travel that much uh -huh. and, and you know I, I went through like i don't know 30 40 50 countries around the world and uh, some of them i went there you know like uh, multiple times yeah. you know and, uh, and it's been great um even though i'm looking looking for like a, a quieter life you know as well and uh spending a little less time in in planes um, not because I don't like it, because I it feels it feels good to jump on the plane and go to remote places or somewhere you don't know. And right. As you said, you know, get out of your comfort zone and like discovering discovering a whole new world. Yeah. But just because you know, um, yeah, like uh, Earth, you know, our planet is uh, suffering, you know, uh -huh. and, uh, and I've been I've, I've got the worst, you know, like a carbon footprint, you know, <laughs> of all, you know. <laughs> You know, so um, so yeah, looking forward to discover also new like new ways of mm -hmm. traveling. You know, and uh, 
and you know different adventure as well you know like a mm -hmm. closer uh different way of of traveling I, I did a i did a really cool bike trip surf and bike trip on the on the french coast uh two years ago uh -huh. movie, uh, nice you know doing like uh, portraits of, of inspiring surfers well like you know uh, Actually, you know, have a really strong uh, environmental commitment. Right. Uh, uh, professional, you know, like a uh, commitment. You know, people that just like quit their, I don't know, engineers' life in Paris and um, just becoming, you know, like a farmer and stuff like that. And, right. You know, like just surfer on the coast that are, that have moved away from their like uh, old life and to, to something brighter and and cleaner and so yeah. Looking forward to to do like a new travel, new adventure. No doubt, Arthur, and we we really uh, tip our hat to you, man. All you that you're doing in terms of bringing awareness to uh, securing the environment as well, and uh, that's another aspect too that maybe we can get into more at another time. But I'm just thinking, Arthur, you must the food choices, man, that you're traveling the world. That that must be un unbelievable. To go to all these countries and and sample their food, that must be that must be crazy. Really good. I love, love. <laughs> you know, and. Uh... Yeah. Hey, we're waiting on the cookbook, and we're waiting on the, on on the surfer line, on on your surfboard line, man. How about that, man? Say that, say that again. I said we're waiting on your cookbook, and we're waiting on your surfboard line, man. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do yeah. that. So, Arthur, before we close, tell us how we can uh, support you, how we can assist you, and and what are you working on uh, right now? Before we close. Well, yeah, um, I'm going to try to make it short. But um, yeah, like uh, after that movie, you know, we I linked up with um, with uh, several NGOs and we managed to help the local surf community of Liberia to. Um, they have access to material, you know. Right. Uh, so thanks to the surf club, it's really helping developing the sport and giving access to to everyone who wants to, uh -huh. to join the party. You know, like uh, they can have access to, to decent uh -huh. surf material. So um, it's a great like um, it was also to to help them develop like a, a surf uh, based tourism. You know, in their in their village. You know? mm -hmm. um, and create incomes. So what was first, you know, at first, like a sporting project became a, a more like a economic and social. The purpose, you know, is to, to get to create incomes, you know, and to the children and also like, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, scholarship for, for like. Okay. Others, they went to hospital. That surf club is providing uh, a big, you know, like a, a, a big numbers of services to the tourists, you know, and it's trying to, they're trying to develop tourism. And um, it's good because uh, it's, a, it's a development that is made by the locals, for the locals, you know. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, and, and it's, it's doing good, it's doing good. But as I say, you know, it's... Um, they they have to go through so many challenges, you know, and uh, they need a, a lot of resources, you know. So um, you can you can follow and uh, and uh, link up with the, with the surfers, you know. If you go to the mm -hmm.
you, Fabian, and you can you can share doing a, a great job, you know, like mm -hmm. of mentorship and that is helping, you know, like uh, um, called Universal. Mm -hmm. To the surf to reason diverse and some some for what you know behind the video mm -hmm. or on the channel for people who are interesting to have a look and uh, and give a give a little help you know sure to the surf sure for sure Sh definitely. All right, that sounds great. And if there's anything you want to pass along to me, uh, author, I will post it on uh, on my social media as well. And uh, just want to thank you. So, is there anything we can help with you specifically, supporting uh, and any any film that you might be working on or any project that you're working on at this at this time? Yeah, for sure. Like, um, I mean, if you're interesting in um, in the in that surf community and you want to, you know, hear about the stories, you know, you can, uh, you can go have a look at water get me. And, uh, okay. and if you, if you, if you see it and you like it, and then you, you can, you can wait for a couple months and there'll be like a kind see. of like, um, it, it's, it's not, it's not a sequel, you know, it's not a, it's not a water get me. You know what I mean? It's right. more like the story of the surf club. And it's like, um, the new chapter of, um, of, uh, surfing in Liberia. Okay. Uh, it's a new documentary called We the Surfers, which will be out uh, this summer. I'm working on it right now. Right. A lot of time behind the computer. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's uh, it will be out soon, and there'll be new faces, you know, um, girls, you know. Right. generation of female surfers stories and, and also like um yeah nice stories about the surf club itself which is um uh, as i said like um, a success story you know um a bigger time we, we tell like sad story you know and and, and dramas yeah. and stuff and it could like those those successful stories, you know, they need to be to be told as well. Right. And, right. Um, and you know, and and just for people to to be aware that uh, anyone can make a change, you know, in uh, in his community, you know. Right. And uh, and uh, we all have that the power to do that. And uh, and yeah, so um, stay stay tuned. You know, there will be a new movie out soon about La Gaia. <laughs> that sounds great, Arthur. And we'll definitely look out for it. We the surfers. Uh, schedule to come out sometime this summer so we definitely need to catch up post yeah. that maybe at the end of the year and discuss how that's going but Arthur I just want to thank you for coming on our game changers with Fabian Lyon you've been a real blessing man making time uh, from live from France so thank you so much we support you in all your endeavors and uh, just consider our platform a friend of yours from here on out thank you very much for having me you too my brother take care man all right. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.